Hello. Hello. Uh, what are your names and where are you from? Uh, I'm Rachel. I'm from Wigan. I'm Laura. I'm from Wales. My name's Nicole Mallet. I come from Stroud. I'm Nikki, and I'm from Southampton. Misha Copeland, and United States of America. Kimberly Pryor from England, Essex. My name's Karen. I'm from the Southport in England. I am Marcus and I am from Minnesota. My name is Ian and I come from Chesterfield. My name is Henry and I am from Dorset. I'm Grace, I'm from Somerset. I'm Chris from Doncaster. I'm Charlotte and I'm from Birmingham. George Carsley and I come from Lippock. Ah, oh, very nice. Where's Lippock? Near Portsmouth. Ah, nice. Um, I'm Charlie, I'm from Bournemouth. Uh, my name's Calvin and I come from Birmingham. I'm Bryony and I'm from Camelsdale, which is near Portsmouth. My name's Adam Crowther and I'm from Dorset in England. Awesome. And um, why did you come to Frontier Costa Rica? Well, it's just to further my education. So I want to go into biology at university and eventually I want to come out as a zoology, a zoologist. So I found Frontier and the course looked really good and exactly what I wanted to do. Because I wanted to go somewhere really far away from home, <laughs> unlike all the holidays, and with really cool stuff to see and do. Uh, because I wanted to learn more about the uh, like studies and surveys of the biodiversity that is uh, in Costa Rica and it's interesting. Um, because I have a big passion for animals and this is one of the best places to see the most amazing things ever. Yep, I chose it just because it's one of those places I've always wanted to go and there's so much wildlife here and I just love it. Um, because it seemed like a good idea when I found it on the internet. <laughs> I came to Costa Rica to see some wildlife because it sounded like a fantastic experience and I wanted to see as much wildlife and health as much as I could. Um, because I wanted to see you and your fantastic beard again because I missed it from the briefing weekend. <laughs> um, well, basically it was because I, I really want to have a employment in, in conservation when I finish university in like three years time. So I just wanted to get in some experience and have a bit of fun over the summer. Well, it just sounded like a pretty amazing experience and yeah, you know, you're in the middle of the jungle so, you know, what more than you want really, yeah. Um, just because it looked like an amazing project, there was so many different like types of things you could do, there's so many animals out here to see, so it looked really good. Because it's pretty amazing. Yeah. I want to see some wildlife. I've seen everything. <laughs> well, I love tropical field work, I love being out in the rainforest and I wanted to gain some more experience of looking after people, helping do projects of my own hopefully um, and just have a nice time. Because Costa Rica is like the most biologically diverse country in the world so I thought you know pretty cool to come out see all the wildlife. Um, just because it sounded like an amazing experience and uh, there's lots of stuff to do here it's just a brilliant country in general really. I came on my gap year and have a great time. Awesome. And um, what's the favourite thing so far about Frontier Costa Rica? Definitely the location or the animals around. I think the best thing is how green it is and how just far away it is from civilization, not in a bad way. Just kind of like, it's <laughs> so nice to get out here and just have all your thoughts to yourself and just meet loads of amazing people. Yeah, I love meeting new people and also the fact that you can be sitting eating dinner and just be seeing animals walking by or a lizard or monkeys or anything just in camp, it's amazing. Oh, it's just been the views, the scenery, the place, the camp, the beaches. It's it's beautiful. It's it's oh, it's just breathtaking. I'd say party night. The wildlife definitely. I've seen an absolute ton of stuff. Uh, all the wildlife we've seen, the beaches, and the people, and the chilled atmosphere. Turtle walks at night and seeing all the turtles laying their eggs. Um, definitely the walks because we go on like multiple walks a day, and you can really choose where you want to go. And there's a lot of options that you can do. Uh, it's an incredible place, it's a beautiful location, the beach is amazing, so many turtles which is incredible, There's so much wildlife in the forest as well, loads of monkeys, loads to see on the river, it's just got all aspects of wildlife you could want in one really nice compact place. Uh, I am just loving camp life, Yeah, awesome. near the beach. Definitely, well at the location and the wildlife, like we've seen coral snakes, lamps. And like the ocean's there, you can probably hear it. It's pretty awesome. Um, everyone is so friendly and such nice people, and we've seen so much, so much. Two river otters in the past two days, and two armadillos, and just seen so much wildlife. Uh, camp. Yeah. It's the best. How much is just around you? It's amazing. Um, it has to be the camp.
out. Yeah. I love being out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Um, just getting up each morning and going out on trails and things. And just like being around here and hearing the macaws in the morning. It's pretty cool. Um, being in the middle of the rainforest and living here and just experiencing what it's like to live in the rainforest. The I don't know actually. Just the amount of animals, the different animals here, it's fantastic. It's hard to say really. I don't know, I guess the people have been awesome and just recently the weather has been awesome. So yeah, I know it's great out here. And what is the best thing that you've seen so far? Well, when we were down the beach the other day, we managed to see some humpback whales and that was just incredible. So yeah, that's it. Mine was definitely the parrot snake. Is that what it's called? Yeah, parrot snake eat in the middle of eating a crab. That was just amazing. That was so um, fantastic. I love the red-eyed tree frogs that we saw when we went on a swamp walk, which is amazing. And also the macaws that are like just overhead all the time. They're awesome. Um, I'm going to say the turtles as well and whales and um, probably an armadillo. That was pretty cool as well. The bird-eating snake, which was like two and a half metres long. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, there's so many. Um, it's probably when I first stepped out onto the beach and walking down towards the lagoon. Just the scenery down there, beach on, uh, standing on the beach, sea on your right, the jungle on your left. Perfect lagoon, just amazing. Um, a turtle on the beach. And wow. Loads of toucans and all the birds and monkeys. Humpback whales in the sea. The caiman crocodile. Probably been a metre away from quite a large caiman um, that swam in front of me. Uh, near tropical river otter, Ferdalans, armadillo, all sorts. I think a turtle actually, Olive Ridley turtle, my first one. I was so excited. Well, I would say probably turtles and the whales which we saw just out over there. They were like 50 metres from the beach. Oh, that would have to be a sloth. Yesterday we saw dolphins like surfing in the waves down there, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, the Ferdalance was cool. Yeah. And the river otter, like two days ago. It was massive, it was really amazing. Mm, I saw a sloth in the tree on the way here, which is pretty cool. It's probably one of my favourite things. Uh, probably a Ferdalance, which I nearly stepped on. But it was uh, good times, good times. Humpback whales. I've seen loads of amazing things. Uh, I've seen otters twice, which was incredible. Um, I've seen some incredible birds. There's some, all the beautiful birds around the lagoon at the beach. And all, just everything you see every day, monkeys and things. Awesome. And if you had one piece of advice for a future volunteer coming out, what would it be? Um, be prepared for being dirty <laughs> and a bit muddy. Bring plenty of socks, which I think everyone says yeah. is a standard, definitely. And try to just enjoy and see as much as you can, and try and really get into it when you're here, and take part in as much as you possibly can while you're here, and take, enjoy your opportunity. Don't have second thoughts, just do it. Just come straight out here. It's amazing. Definitely bring more pants. Pack plenty of socks, just like because I've got loads of different stuff wet and talc. Talc's the best one. Definitely need talc. <laughs> um, bring wellies, I'd say. Don't pack as many clothes as you want to. I've like not used much at all, and it's just a lot more weight than you need. Bring lots of socks. Bring some wellies and make sure on one afternoon you get down to the beach for an amazing sunset. Um, bring lots of rum. Drink lots of rum. <laughs> Make the most of it because it goes very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother bringing an eraser. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Bring a camera with loads of memory. <laughs> Make sure you do everything when you get here because you can miss out on so much just by missing like one walk. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, bring wellies and lots of socks as well if you're in the season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of wellies and lots of socks. <laughs>